Alright, over and over again I keep getting requests on these knife hinges. So I'm going to try to do a the last comprehensive short <laughs> video on these hinges. Okay, there's two, st I made two sizes or two styles. Uh, and I'll explain those here. Okay, this one here is flat on the end here and it rests up against the trailing edge. Well that was good for the first go around but I decided that I would concave the trailing edge so I ended up making a complete round one. Now this tang right here, this length right here is one inch long and this is eighth inch square. One inch long, eighth inch square and the and the circle here on top is whatever the flap thickness is. This one here is three eighths. Okay, so now to the next part. Now we have the basic tang. You're going to have to bush them. And there are, if you look for eyelets, brass eyelets on the internet, there's hundreds of places that will sell you eyelets. And here's a 16th inch eyelet. And you just take the eyelet and you drop it into the hole that's right in the center. And now we're going to have to paint it over. Now, <clears throat> I did have a tool that I made out of an eighth inch piece of piano wire. But here's an acorn nut. And this acorn nut should work. You're going to have to flare this on the end. And no, that won't work. So we're going to have to find my eighth inch wire. So give me a second. Well, I couldn't work. find my eighth inch piece of wire that I already had drilled so we're just going to make one on camera here. I have these Nipex compound cutters. Hopefully they'll cut this eighth inch piece of piano wire. I cut it off about two and a half inches long. We're making a drift is what we're making. And just cut the piece of wire off. So now we have a, a straight piece of piano wire. We're going to have to take it over on the belt sander and we're going to have to taper the end into a peen. So or a punch. So we'll come over here on the belt sander. Didn't take long. Let's see if we can get a. So I've tapered it into a point. You see that? Okay. Now, if you really want to be slick, you'll cut the second point in this, and I think we'll do that. And I'll see if I can show that too. Okay, I've cut a second notch in it. Let's see if we can get a good close up of that. Not really, it doesn't focus very well. There's a point, then there's a step, so that it'll roll the flange over. So let's give this a try. So you set this down into the hole. And we're just setting it. We're not. You just take the, a small ball peen hammer and set it. And it worked exactly perfect. And it flared the end of the eyelid out. Then take the hammer and tap it down. So you end up with, with that.
Okay. Now we're going to do this. You're going to have to do this with the uh, the hinge eyelet. You're going to have to do it with the horn eyelet, flap, and elevator horn because it takes 14 of these hinges to do the job. Now the next thing is on the on the hinge pin. real simple. Find a piece of wire, whatever, how many thousands it takes to go through. These happen to be 44 thousands. And you just take the piece of piano wire and uh, what I normally do is I grab it with a pair of pliers first. And we're going to bend it a 45 in it, a tang, like so. And we're going to cut it one inch long. Now I've done the hinge install videos. I hope I don't have to show those again. Anyway, I cut it one inch long. And now we've made the hinge. And there are no better hinges than these. <laughs> so this slides through like such. Hopefully that makes sense. You can see that and and it and it's pretty self-explanatory. The problem with video is I just can't focus in quite good enough on the, uh, well, I should be, uh, should be able to grasp it from that. Now when you install these, they install like like this in the trailing edge. And the flap is sticking up this way. It's a great hinging system. Anyway, that's uh that's how the uh, hinge hinges are made. You're going to need three sizes of eyelets. You're going to need the, the actual eyelet for the hinge. Like I showed you how to install there. You're going to need 8 inch for the flap horns. 3.30 seconds for the elevator horns. And 16 inch for the hinges. And there's a, a million places to buy that stuff. So, hopefully this answers any unanswered questions on, on the flap hinges. Or, because I get asked, it seems like every day anymore, about these hinges. <clears throat> so that is the uh, the little go around on on making uh, hinges, and it, it don't take long to make. And uh, once you use them, you'll love them. That's for sure. So we'll see you on the next instructional video. Tie lines. <laughs>